Hey YouTube, what's going on? It's your YouTube channel Sackboy D, but you can call me Sackboy if you'd like. And today, we're going to be playing some American Truck Simulator. We're going to go from Spokane, Washington to Kennewick, Washington. Let me show you where that is on the map. Yep, we're going from Walmart in Spokane, Long I-90 West. We're going to take Highway 395 south into Kennewick, and then we're going to make a left turn here into this Walmart facility. So, yeah. By the way, the upcoming DLC for this game will be in Utah, which is where my cursor is. So, yeah. I heard the SCS software said that the that the new Utah DLC is going to break the L shape of all of the states that are on the map. So yeah, it's time to get the show on the road. Let's get started with our navigation, shall we? And by the way, I am using my voice navigation mod, so it'll tell me which way to go. So. Start her up. Yep, I'm driving the Volvo VNL. But I'm gonna go from point A to point B in this truck. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop here. There's a Dodge Ram pickup truck. There's a motorcycle. And I heard if you crash into a motorcycle in the AI traffic in Euro or American truck, that motorcycle won't move at all unless you use the console command and G underscore traffic zero and then one. Let me show you what I'm talking about here. I'm gonna stop at the light for just a sec. Continue straight. Okay. I'm gonna pause right there. I'm gonna type G underscore traffic. And that's how you do it, and then you click enter, and then after that, and then you do that command. And yes, I am going to blur out my name from there, but just only use my YouTube name, YouTube channel name. So, time to go. Got a green light. By the way, that developer console really helps. I want to see if there's any warnings or errors. Jake break on the way through. Let's slow down. So in two hundred meters, turn left. Turn left. The Spokane Convention Center. Gosh, you saw. Please watch this video. That, um, yeah, guys, you saw that Spokane Convention Caution. Center on Google Maps. Please mind the speed limit. By the way, Continue there will be straight. more voiceovers. Then keep right. Yep, I'll definitely have some more voiceovers. 
in my voice navigation mod in the future. By the way, I will leave a link to my voice navigation mod in the description of this video. Keep and also right. on my spreadsheet. Then, take the exit on the right. Yep. I'm gonna go on the interstate. So... about 60 miles an hour along Interstate 90 West. So yeah, it's going to be an epic journey. There's U.S. Highway 195. Shift and an 18th gear. I wonder why my tablet won't even connect to my SDK for my um, telemetry. It's really weird. issues with my SDK right now, so bear with me. I definitely want to give you a good view off of Interstate 90. Which I'll show you. Wait, it's not on there. It's not in our route. So So yeah, we're doing good on fuel. Don't drink and drive, drive safely, obey the speed limit. Hey, Nyko D. That's a really good looking truck, like I said. And I'm trying not to get distracted while I'm driving. There is an unexpected event on your route. Manual adjustment of your navigation is strongly recommended. So, yeah. I'm gonna have to take a different route. Let's get the show on the road, shall we? Keep left. Hunt. Yep, that road's blocked off. Toward Highway 395. Yeah, I'm just gonna figure it out later.
Okay, sorry, I am having an authentication problem. Oh, be very careful. So, I kind of have to keep my eyes on the road here so that I don't crash. Maybe hey, there's a classic pickup truck right there. Almost looks like an old Chevy. I heard that Chevrolet made better cars back in the older days. Then, as of now, their quality just went down in the hole. So, I recommend against getting a newer GM vehicle. So. The Fords are designed way better. I right along with Mazdas and Toyotas, even the Hondas. Hondas are well known for making good engines. So, yep. Beautiful view along Interstate 90. So, yeah, I have my cruise control on so that I don't have to hold the accelerator for the whole time. Yeah. So, I fixed the issue with my telemetry server. Downshift on the incline. So yeah, I'm taking a detour. So yeah, the video might be a little longer than usual. So yeah, I'm gonna do that view like I said because of the detour never mind I'll find a new route yeah, that's the recomputing OGG file Yeah, sorry about the other sounds outside. So yeah, I'm gonna put on the warning blinkers. Ah yes, a beautiful view. And even a beautiful view from over here. So yeah. Really good view of Washington. And a good view of that bridge, so let's get back in the truck, disengage the parking brake, turn off the warning blinkers, have to stay to the outside. I'm gonna have to stop with the traffic. If there is any, so I'm gonna go to the slow lane. I'm gonna put the cruise control back on. So, yeah, like I said, severe thunderstorm warning in my area. I'm having a 
issues with my SDK right now. Be very careful. It doesn't matter if my access point has no internet access. As long as I have a stable network connection between my computer and my SDK device. I get the live telemetry data from either American Truck or Euro Truck or any other racing game I have. So, this ride is going to be a long time. So, bear with me. Just under 800 miles to empty. Keep right. So then take the yeah. exit on the right. I'm gonna have to take 270. So I'm gonna take have to the exit on the right. Here. Yep, take the 270 on the Interstate 82. The east. So how far did we go from when I last refueled? So a thousand miles. About 5.2 miles to the gallon in this truck. So I'm gonna switch lanes here. There's our instant speed readout and our cruise control speed. So yep, there's our fuel range. We've got 103 gallons left. Yep, it's about a third of a tank. And there's two Ford Explorers there. As part of the hold on, well, I'm gonna overtake. So, let's go back to our fuel economy screen on our, um, on our dash computer. So, yeah, we got about 246,000 miles on this truck. She's still running good. So, yeah. Wondering. I think I could use the mirror like that. There's even the Notebook Pro as part of the, the SISL Mega Pack. So, yeah. Use my mouse to look around. So I'm gonna have to take the exit into Kennewick. So Take the exit toward Yakima. And instead, we're going to Kennewick, Washington.
any bad parts in the video I can edit out. So. Like I'll only keep the good stuff in. So. It's going to be a rather long video. Even though I'm using a 500 gigabyte hard drive for longer videos. Just like I said in my um, in Portland to Ontario video. At the end of that you probably saw the message. I do have a bigger disk drive. There's a Waystation camera. Okay, I can bypass the Waystation. Have a safe journey. Another Waystation camera. The thing I like about American Truck is the way stations. You can like step up on the scale and then weigh your truck. And it'll give you the actual gross weight according to what weight units you have set under regional settings and the options. So yeah, I think that's really cool. Taking the next exit off of Interstate 82. So, yeah, I hear a thunderstorm in my area. So, bear that in mind as I get through this delivery. So Keep I'm right. Have to take it. Take another then, 270. Take the exit on the right. Take the exit on the right. So, I've been using the H shifter layout for a little while on my, on my own free time. Just to practice shifting gears as if it were a real transmission. Go around like manual gearbox, but in my videos I mainly use automatic. Keep right, then We're turn have right. To Jake, break our way. Yep, you can see the turn retarder right. icon on the dash computer. So yeah, I'm gonna. Home Depot Continue there. Straight. We're not going to the Home Depot, we are going to Walmart. Caution. We're going to the delivery watch depot. The speed limit. Continue straight. And whoops, I just ran that red light on accident. That was the only fun I got through this video. There's. Dang it! Train. I'm gonna shut the engine off to save our diesel. There's our train right here. Going that way. So, yep. Start the engine back up, disengage the parking brake, and then we are off. So,
Keep right. Then turn right. Turn right. Yeah, like I said, I have the link to the SCS forum page Keep left. where I have my voice then navigation turn mod. Left. Turn left. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and... You've arrived at your destination. I'm gonna drop off the cargo where you need it. So yeah. Let's go ahead and we'll drive. Um, this is gonna take a little while to maneuver because of the long wheelbase on this truck. Gotta, gotta watch where the trailer is going, so. Put the transmission into reverse. Oh yeah, well, look at that beautiful truck. So I took the warning flags and the oversized load banner off. Yeah, that was the governor shutting off the compressor and the air brakes. I'm gonna turn my wheel here. Showing you from the outside so you get the idea of how you can reverse these trailers. So, stop there, park the truck, shut the engine, get her unloaded. Empty palace delivered from Spokane to Kennewick. I'm on level 99, getting closer to level 100. And I've passed level 100 in Euro Truck. So, yeah, level 100 is Divine Champion. So, yeah. That was a really good journey, and it's starting to rain. So, yep, I'm using a rain mod. It's the old Heavy Rain by Dark Captain. I'll leave a link that mod in the description of the video and also on my spreadsheet. And I recommend you not use Brian's seasonal mods with not the winter mod specifically. So use any other mod. So So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that fantastic journey, I know I did, hope you guys enjoyed, if you did, give me a thumbs up, leave some comments, subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, Till then, take care, and happy trucking.